Oh, hey guys. What are you doing in my living room? I'm only kidding. Welcome to today's video. I'm doing something a little bit different. Today, I wanted to take you behind the scenes at Plan and show you a little bit of what it's like to be a social media and community manager and also give you some tips, tricks, and hacks of how I'm able to manage Plan's social media. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So as a social media manager, every day is different. Some days are super busy and we're launching a new feature or a product. And so the whole team's on board, checking in with each other, testing the product or the feature within the app and making sure it's working right and anxiously awaiting your guys' responses. But other days are much slower, so it fluctuates all the time. Today is one of those more slow days, but that's why I'm excited to show you what I do because as a social media manager, you always wanna be prepared for when things get crazy because they definitely do. Today I'm going to plan for the week ahead. So it's Friday, so I really need to batch my content coming up as well as figure out a strategy for next week. So I actually already started my day pretty early. I had a meeting with Rhonda. I will pop her right here if you wanna check her out. She is amazing and she's a social media consultant and she will actually be joining us on our next Plan with Plan webinar, which is on Monday. This video will be going up on Wednesday, so you will have missed the live, but don't worry, we do have the replay. I will pop it here, up above, so you can watch it. And so yeah, we had a great meeting just going through what we're going to teach you on Plan with Plan. And now I need to look at my daily to-do list and see what my next tasks are. So for my to-do list, I used to always write them on paper, but I was wasting so much paper and I would have heaps of paper everywhere and I would just lose my to-do list all the time. So I actually use Notion and this is a tool that the whole plan team uses and we absolutely adore Notion. For me, it has saved me my sanity, seriously. I have my own Notion board where I organize everything from my school assignments that are coming up to personal projects to all my plan tasks that I need to get done each day. So I'll show you a little bit what my Notion board looks like and also show you how I prioritize my tasks for the day. Now before I show you my Notion board, I need a coffee. I cannot function without coffee. So this is Notion and basically you can use Notion however you want to. I use it as a way to organize and to create to-do list. I just designed it. I added this cover image, put a nice motivational quote. You get what you work for, not what you wish for. And this photo here, which is my dream. If my boyfriend could take notes, if you're watching this video, if you just want to keep refilling my coffee while I'm in bed, that would be very good for you. Here I have Plan. So I have a few other things like my school and my own account that I have stuff that I have to do for every day. But here is my plan list. I like to organize my list by the most important, the least important thing that I need to focus on. So I know creating a strategy for next week is one of my most important things to do because it's Friday. So I need to get ready for the week ahead. Then batching that content is also at the top of my list. Filming these create videos probably should be in third place. Filming the mini tutorials is comes in fourth. So that's what's on my schedule today. Now that you've seen my beloved Notion board, which I could not live without, I now need to get together a strategy for next week. So if you're ready, let's jump on into plan. Let's go ahead and create a strategy together for next week. So I know that on Monday, I need to be posting about plan with plan as a reminder post because we have the webinar that evening. So I'm going to add that tile into my strategy. 
you don't know how to create your own tile, you just click add custom and then give it a name and select a color. I recommend using your brand colors. So now that I have this tile here on my grid, I see that we have a lot of product heavy posts lately. And so I want to slide one more lifestyle type post in between there. So I'm going to grab this plan pause tile and then bring that in. Plan pause are these little videos that I make and they're lifestyle videos. They're usually of a relaxing scene like waves crashing or a palm tree blowing in the wind. And then I pair it with some nature music. Usually it's the sound of waves in the background. They're just relaxing little lifestyle videos that I love and so I think that will be the perfect piece of content to fit in between these two. Now again, since we have more of a product heavy post because it is plan with plan, I now want to bring in probably a stock photo because again, with plan we have a pretty specific strategy where we really like to incorporate more lifestyle images to really break up the product post. I feel like this just makes the product post you do post so much more valuable. And I want when people come visit our grid to see that we don't just care about the product. We really want to encourage you to get offline and enjoy the real world. And that's why I love bringing in photos of the ocean. For example, this is a photo of Australia that I think it's from our wonderful team at Pexels. We collaborate with them to bring you some beautiful stock photos. So I'm pretty sure I got that from Pexels. And then someone surfing here, this lifestyle image from Bali. And I feel like that just gives us the perfect mix of product and also lifestyle. So I'll bring in a stock photo here. And then this week we are focusing on teaching you all how to collab and how to start collaborations. And so I think this will be perfect here. Let's go ahead and bring in a product post on Thursday. And on Friday, I want to keep it fun. So I'm going to add a tile for relatable. Slash funny posts. Usually I like to post some really funny quotes or a meme and I feel like that's a perfect piece of content for Friday. So I will slide that in there. And now I have completely planned out my strategy for next week and it literally took me four minutes. So this just goes to show you it takes such little time and it's really going to set you up for the week ahead. This also really helps my team see what's coming up because our graphic designer and our content editor and our marketing manager, we all jump on to plan to see what each other is working on. And so now when the team logs on to plan, they can see what I have planned for the week. Now, one of my other tips for other social media managers or just anyone who is working from home is to play something in the background. I know that when you work from home and you spend the majority of your time alone, it can start to feel lonely. And so I usually always have something playing in the background, whether it's a YouTube video or a podcast or just some relaxing music on Spotify. We've actually created a playlist for you to plan to. It's Emma's playlist. Emma is our amazing content editor and it's the playlist she's put together that she loves to listen to while she's working. I will pop that right up here for you if you wanna give it a listen. But I've also really been enjoying listening to other YouTubers. One of my favorite people right now to watch or listen to is Katherine Manning. She is just incredible. She's so friendly and engaging, but she really offers so much value in her content and I've just really been loving her videos. So if you guys don't follow her or know about her, you should definitely check her out. I'm currently watching this video, which seems pretty fitting since I'm doing a vlog style today. 
But yeah, I just find having something playing in the background, it kind of brings a sense of comfort, having this background noise, and you can also learn so much while you're working. Okay, and since I've created my strategy and I now know what content I need to create, I am going to bring you into Canva and show you some of the tools that I use every single day that make a huge difference for me. So let's go ahead and jump into Canva. So I won't show you the exact graphics I'm designing for next week because I want them to be a surprise for you, but I will show you a few quick tips and tricks inside Canva that I'm always running to. So firstly, I've been asked a lot about how do you remove the background on a photo so you can then give it another background. So I'm going to show you, it's actually really, really simple. Let's take this for example, and I will just delete myself from this so I can show you. I'm going to find a photo of me. I'll use this one. And then in the corner, I'll click effects. And then I simply click background remover and voila, you can then move it around to where you want it. You can make it bigger or smaller by pulling at the corners. And it honestly does such an amazing job of removing the background. If it does remove something you don't want or it doesn't remove something that you do want removed, you can play around with the erase and restore tool. But honestly, I rarely have to do this because it does such a good job on its own. Another tool I'm always using as well is the blur background effect, and that's what makes this look a little bit more natural. So I go into adjust, and then from here, I can blur the background or not blur it. But blurring it a little is what makes it look more natural because a high quality camera lens would naturally do that. It's going to focus in on the subject and then blur the rest, so this really helps. And then another one of my favorite tools, and you might need a Canva Pro account for this, you might also need it for the background remover, I'm not sure, but is this styles, and then here you have your brand kit. So when you create your Canva account, you can create a whole branding kit where you have the common fonts you use, the common colors you use, and this makes it so easy to design graphics that look like your brand. For example, let me use it on this one here, but I can click on one of my brand colors and then it will automatically start shuffling the colors to get a look that really looks like plan and it's no work for me. Now there is a beautiful beach outside waiting for me right now. And so I think I'm going to run down there. I do try and go down to the beach every single day and not spend all my time at my desk. What's so great is Plan now has auto posting, so that is completely doable for me. And so I'm going to quickly show you how to set up auto post if you don't know, and then I'll take you guys down to the beach with me. I decided I wanted to add in one more lifestyle post and I think it looks so beautiful with this photo here and the photo I posted for Earth Day. The photos just really complement each other and the colors look so good, so I'm really excited. I found this stock photo on plan through our friends at Pexel. So I'm going to set this for auto pose so I can go and enjoy the beach for a little while. So all I have to do to set this to auto post is select custom time, make sure auto post is turned on. And then just to double check, I want it set for today. And let's see, what time is it? Four. Let's go ahead and set this for 4.30. And I have my caption ready. I'm going to also add first comment. And I'm going to add these hashtags. And then I'll go ahead and schedule my post. And as you can see, there's this little A with a circle on the right hand corner, and that's how I know it's scheduled for auto posting. Okay, I'm going to go throw on a bikini, grab my towel and a beach hat, and I will see you at the beach. 
Okay, I just got dressed. I just have a bikini on and a little Pareo and my beach bag with a hat because I'm trying to age gracefully, <laughs> sunscreen, and a book that I have to read for school. So let's head down to the beach. Hey everyone, just got back from the beach. Anyways, that was my day of being a social media manager at Plan. I'm going to go take a shower now and just relax. But if you enjoyed this vlog style video, let me know and I can definitely make more and show you even more tips and tricks of being a social media manager. Make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna learn about all things social media and I will see you next week. Bye guys.